Hey guys, is your Nothing phone stuck on the Nothing or CMF screen again and again? No matter how many times you restart, it just refuses to boot up. Don't worry, you're not the only one facing this. That's called a boot loop. It can happen after an update, a bad app or a wrong flash. In this video, I'll show you the simplest ways to fix the boot loop problem on your Nothing or CMF phone step by step and beginner friendly. So let's get started. First, till let's power off the device. Press the volume down and power buttons together to enter download mode. Once you're in download mode, you'll see the power option on the screen. Use the volume up button to highlight it, then press volume down to confirm. This will completely shut down the device. Now that the phone is powered off, it's time to boot into EDL mode, which is the emergency download mode used for deep recovery. Now press and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously and connect your phone to the PC using a USB cable. This will boot your device into EDL mode which stands for emergency download mode. Once that's done, switch over to your PC screen. Step 2. Download the required drivers and firmware. On your PC, you'll need to install the correct USB drivers for your device. If your phone is based on a Snapdragon processor like Nothing Phone 1 and Phone 2, then download the Qualcomm drivers. If it's based on a MediaTek processor like the CMF Phone 1, then download the MediaTek drivers. I've added links in the video description to help you download the right ones based on your device model. Next, go to the link in the description and download the official stock firmware for your Nothing device. Once both files are downloaded, let's start by extracting the firmware. Just right-click on the zip file and extract it to any folder you like. Now extract the driver zip file you downloaded earlier as well. This will prepare the installation files which are required to detect your phone in flashing mode. Once both firmware and drivers are extracted, you can delete the original zip files to keep your workspace clean and avoid any confusion later. Now that everything's extracted, let's go ahead and install the drivers based on your device's processor. Installation process is pretty simple. Just open the driver folder and run the setup file. Keep clicking next and follow the on-screen prompts. The installation usually takes around two to three minutes so I'll fast forward this part to save time. All right, the drivers are now installed successfully. You can now go ahead and delete the extracted driver folder to keep things clean. Now open the firmware folder you extracted earlier. Inside you'll see many files. Don't worry, we only need one. Look for the file named nothingflashtool.exe. Right click on it and select run as administrator. This will launch the official flashing tool. Now, before we start flashing, let's make sure your device is properly connected in EDL mode. To check that, press Windows plus X on your keyboard, then open Device Manager from the list. In Device Manager, scroll down and find the section called Ports. If your phone is in EDL mode, it should show up here, same like this. You should also see that the Nothing Flash tool says connected. That means everything is ready and we can now begin the flashing process. Now here comes the main part, so keep your focus here. In the Nothing Flash tool, click on the partition button at the top. Then select choose partition to select from the drop down. Here you'll see that FRP is unchecked by default. You need to check the FRP partition. The FRP partition stores Google log data that prevents access after a factory reset. And that's exactly why we're going to flash it. Just click yes when the warning message pops up. Now back in the main screen, make sure these two options are enabled. Simply click on the start button to begin the flashing process. It might take around 5 to 6 minutes to complete, so just be patient. Once it's done, your phone will reboot automatically. So I'll fast forward this part to save your time. Alright, the flashing is now complete and as you can see, the phone has rebooted automatically. Just hang tight while the phone boots up. The first boot can take a couple of minutes, so don't worry if it feels slow.
and there we go. The phone has booted up perfectly this time. No more freezing on the Nothing logo or the CMF logo. If you are stuck in a boot loop before, this fix should keep your Nothing or CMF phone stable from now on. This method will work for most Nothing phones and CMF phones, no matter which model you're using. So that's how you can fix a boot loop or a device that's stuck on the Nothing or CMF logo. If this fix worked for you, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more simple tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.